Tesla's Model Y has been leading the electric SUV segment. It's already an amazing SUV, but there are a lot of improvements coming with the new Model Ys from Giga Texas. Giga Berlin has recently started the new Model Y deliveries, but they are still equipped with the older 2170 cells. The new Model Ys that are yet to come out from Giga Texas will be equipped with the new 4680 cells and structural battery pack. So, today we are going to be talking about what the 4680 battery rollout is going to look like on the new Model Ys. Now, there seems to be a lot of speculation on mileage increase and power increase and all this other stuff, and we think a lot of people just don't really understand what the 4680 rollout is really going to look like. We're going to be talking about what real Tesla employees are saying for the 4680 rollout and what we can actually be expecting from the early stages of the 4680 batteries being integrated into the new Tesla Model Y. We will also discuss whether you should buy a Model Y now or wait for the 4680 equipped version. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. The 4680 battery development by Tesla is a great achievement for the electric vehicle industry and it's going to benefit Tesla and the end consumer greatly. The new 4680 cells will bring a host of performance, manufacturing, and cost benefits to the table. As the name implies, the new jumbo cells are 46 mm in diameter and 80 mm in height. The larger jelly roll packs more active battery material into the casing for a 5 times improvement in energy storage and 6 times increase in power. Scaling up to the pack, the new form factor alone delivers a 16% increase in range. Now let's move on the topic of how it will benefit Tesla as well as end consumers. First of all, when looking at the short-term perspective, we think it will be benefiting Tesla more and not so much for the end consumer initially. Now why are we saying this, let us explain it to you. So let's take a look at how Tesla is actually going to benefit from the 4680 rollout to begin with. There's going to be two things here. Number one would be a decrease in manufacturing cost, and number two is going to be less complexity to actually build the Model Ys, which ultimately means they'll probably be able to build them quicker. So that's going on for Tesla. With the 4680 cells and structural battery pack, it's much cheaper for them to build the new Model Ys. In the process, they're not going to lower the prices of the new Model Ys, as demand is way too high. They're not going to lower prices, so that means that they're going to get a higher return on the new Model Ys. Now as consumers, we're expecting that this is going to be great, as we're going to have so much more range, so much more speed, such quicker charge times. But actually, that's just not realistic, it's just a pipe dream, especially early on like this. It may be there down the road, but initially, the Model Y with 4680 cells is not going to be that much different compared to the current 2170 version. Why are we saying this, let's get into it. Talking about Giga Texas, they are going to produce the Model Ys there and that is supposed to supply the whole east coast of the United States. Whereas, talking about the Fremont factory in California, it is supposed to supply the west coast of the United States. So looking at this scenario, we think that's unrealistic to think that the whole West Coast is going to be cut off from this premium Model Y equipped with 4680 cells and they're not going to be able to buy the new Model Ys. This is because, in reality, if they were to roll out the new Model Y with 4680 cells with all these great improvements, nobody is going to buy the Model Ys equipped with 2170 cells. It's just not going to happen, as it will have a lot of rejections from people getting their new Tesla Model Y. It will be an absolute nightmare for Tesla, so they're never going to do that. If they do that, it would create a lot of confusions among people and could affect their sales significantly. Also, we need to consider the fact that California buys the most Teslas compared to any other place in the United States. So, they're not going to want to chokehold that market so that they can't actually buy the newer better Model Ys unless there was a significant price difference. 
In the near future, we think we could be seeing some new Model Y variants. We could see a Tesla Model Y Performance Plus, or a Tesla Model Y Plaid, or a Tesla Model Y variant that's a little more premium. The new future variants could utilize a full 4680 battery pack on the Model Y, which could probably provide a better range, provide a lot better performance, also could charge quicker with the newer superchargers. But to expect that we are going to get all these features now is just entirely unrealistic, as it would be a huge blunder for Tesla to do that in terms of still trying to sell their 2170 Model Ys. So with all these we discussed, you would be having a lot of questions about it. So we're not getting any premium feature, we're not getting the performance, we are not getting faster charging speed, then what is the benefit of the 4680? Well, the 4680 first of all, is currently just a pure trial and error standpoint from Tesla's side. That's going to be a great opportunity for them to kind of figure out what they don't know about the 4680 batteries yet, along with stuff that they maybe haven't thought of yet. Now coming to the consumer side, the consumer could enjoy some benefits from these new 4680 batteries. The most amazing benefit we will get is a vehicle that would have lighter weight. We are going to have a vehicle that's lighter weight, which would probably it feel a little more nimble, it would have less body roll when going around corners, not that it has a ton anyway, and that's going to be nice. Aside from that, eventually when we get a new supercharger, the car will be able to charge quicker, compared to a 2170. This is because of the nature of the battery, and the new supercharger being able to facilitate that state of charge, it could charge the vehicle a lot quicker. Now, what are Tesla employees saying about this? Let's discuss that too. According to Tesla employees, we'll be getting the 4680 battery pack that's just going to have less cells in them compared to 2170s. So what they're trying to do here is, they're just trying to match the current speed or performance, rather in range of the current 2170 Model Ys, so that people don't complain one way or the other. This will eliminate the war between 2170s and 4680s. The consumer won't feel much difference right now, but they could do that in the near future. So, the car is going to be even lighter than when they fully packed that thing out for the premium Model Y in the future, or could also happen with the plaid variant of the Model Y. But all those things are in the pipeline and will take time to come out. So, if you are thinking of avoiding the current Model Y, and waiting to buy the 4680 equipped variant, that's not going to be a wise decision. We have seen Tesla increasing prices of all their cars, and this won't stop in the future. This could lead to paying more for the same performance and range, with only some minor improvements, which is not a wise decision at all. So if you are looking to buy a Model Y, buy it now, or else you will end up paying more. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the electric arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.